Mark, speaking as an old neurophysiologist, if I put out any thought of uh, a spiritual consciousness world, I see an infinite sequence of events that have to do with neuronal chemicals flowing, electrical activities, very complex. But in this process of mechanical material events, I don't see any free will. Why do you see free will? Well, if, the, if those series of events are completely deterministic, meaning once the Big Bang happens, you got the laws of physics, that's it. It's already determined that my life is going to go exactly as it goes, then I don't see free will either. Um, but there's another possibility. There's no good evidence that the world is determined, deterministic in that way. The world, there, there might be lots of indeterminacies all over the place where it's not causally determined that this event's going to occur. Now, people still think there's a huge problem for free will, even if you're a materialist, even if the world is indeterministic, because they think, look, there's two possibilities. Either the world is a causally determined system, in which case I clearly don't have free will, or it's an undetermined system. Like a random event in quantum mechanics exactly. is, is random, and so then I'm at the mercy of randomness as opposed to determinism. Right. So, so either way, I got no free will. Exactly. So the problem is... That's the way I feel sometimes. If you have a materialistic world, <laughs> then you either have determinism or randomness, and neither one is free will. Um, but I actually think that the argument that if it's undetermined, then it's random is mistaken and that there's room there for um, f undetermined free will in a materialistic world. And the reason is that um, you've got these neural events that are our decisions. Um, and they're physical events, they're neural events, but they're also conscious events. They're mental events, they're me events. I'm doing it on purpose. I decided to go to college in Colorado on purpose of my own free will. It was a physical event, but it was also a me event. And if that event was undetermined, then it's not random because it's me doing it. So it would be, if it's undetermined, then it would be undetermined and non-random. But how are you getting that me? All we have is the, these collection of, uh, of, uh, of chemicals and electrical, act, electrical sparks of activity that have been flowing. Well, okay, so distinguish two different pictures. One picture, there's an undetermined quantum event over here that then signals the neural event and it goes that way. That's not me, that's the quantum event just happened to go this way instead of that way. There's another scenario in which the, qu the undetermined quantum events are part of the decision, part of the neural event. The neural event is, one thing we know for sure is it's made up of a bunch of quantum events. If some of those quantum events are undetermined and another big if, if the neural event is undetermined, then it's not, it is me, because the whole neural event is a conscious event. It's a me doing event. So you would have it be undetermined and me. Does this come about because you have a vast collection of quantum events occurring together, so you have some sort of a, an emergent characteristic that many, many things together yield some new structure at a higher level? I, no, I wouldn't call it emergent. I would just say the neural event is just like any other macro level event, it's a, just a physical event, but all macro level events, whether they're mental or not, are made up of quantum events. That's the whole world is made up of the quantum. So um, yeah, it's just, um, it's, I wouldn't say that it's emergent, it's just that's what it is. It's a bunch of quantum events. And th it's an open empirical question whether quantum events are determined or undetermined. And even if they're undetermined, it's another open question whether neural events are undetermined. Current neuroscience, has probabilities all through the theory, but we don't know if those are genuine indeterminacies or not. That's an open question. My point is, if it turns out that the neural event that is my decision is genuinely undetermined, then that would give you full-blown undetermined free will.